YouTubers, it's Magic the Gathering UK here again. And today, cracking open three more of these buyer box promos. These are the last ones I have that I managed to pick up. I thought it'd be kind of interesting to open these. I was thinking about keeping them, but it's probably not worth it, as most of the cards in these will be rotating out soon anyway. And yeah, these probably won't have much value anyway. They're not going to go up in value anyway, so we might as well try and see what we get. Here we go then, three more. Can be anything from Over the Gate Watch through to Kaladesh. You can get you get two rares and a foil in each pack. Foil can be of any rarity, and you can also get expeditions if you're super lucky and inventions, but the chances of that are zero. Key to the city from Kaladesh. I like that card. Pretty sweet card. I don't think it's quite found the right home yet in standard, but Pretty sweet card. It's not worth anything though. Foil black card here. Die young. Foil common. Not exciting, but it's foil. And painful truths is the final rare then of that pack. And uh, what does that one do? You draw X cards and you lose X life. Not too bad, not too bad. Again, not worth anything. So we get to get a card of any value. Is he good? Oh, he's not good, but it's a mythic. That's why I went. He's not worth anything. I knew it was like a special card. We got a planeswalker mythic. That's pretty cool. He's right at the front. I couldn't hide him. Yeah. All right. We got a planeswalker. <laughs> Stoven Ban. He's only worth about three quid, something like that. But still, it's a planeswalker. That's pretty cool. And foil. And foil mythic. Decimator of the Promises. I've already got like three of these in foil, <laughs> unfortunately, and it's not worth very much, but it's still a foil mythic, so we've got a mythic this and a pack, foil though. mythic. This pack is a bit OP. Damn, son. That was a cool pack. we got one more rare. I've got to be a good one behind here now. Yeah, it probably isn't, but Desolation Twin. I don't think I have that one. I could be wrong, but Giant Eldrazi Monster. Kind of could be good in um, Tron. It's not, obviously, you don't want to be playing this in Tron if you can afford cards and stuff, and what not, but it might be good replacement as a sort of a cheap giant thing in Tron, maybe. But there we go, Desolation Twin. That was a pretty cool pack. A foil mythic, a mythic planeswalker, and a Desolation Twin. I mean, admittedly, none of those are worth much, but... Ooh, another mythic, and this one's worth a lot of money. Is he? Yeah, Grim Flare. I don't know how much he's worth exactly, but he sees a lot of play. In modern and standard, not so much in modern, but he does see some play. He's worth about fifteen dollars, something like that. Maybe a bit less. I can't remember. So that's a solid hit. Grim Flare is a great card. The foil, it's red. A foil rare. Collective <laughs> defiance. There we go. We're on fire now. Damn, that was pretty sweet. Again, not. A, I don't think this card's worth anything. It doesn't see any play. But I really like this card. I think you could probably put this in some kind of deck somewhere. It seems super solid. But yeah, a mythic and a foil rare in this pack. And Wasteland Strangler, another Eldrazi dude. <laughs> He's not very good. He does look like a mushroom. He's not so good. But there we are. That kind of made up for the last few packs. Got a bunch of stuff in here. We got a Wasteland Strangler. We got a foil rare Collective Defiance. Grim Flare, that was definitely the best hit of these packs. As I said, I'm not sure how much he's worth exactly, but he's definitely got some value. We've got a Desolation Twin. We've got a Foil Decimator of the Provinces, a Foil Mythic. As I said, unfortunately we already have about three of these in Foil. For some reason I just keep getting this one in Foil. I've got one in my box, and I think this is my uh, promo from a pre-release kit as well. I got one. We got a Dovin Barn. That pack was nuts. A Mythic, a Foil Mythic, and a Desolation Twin. Dovin Barn, unfortunately he's sees zero play and isn't worth much. But he's a Planeswalker, so he's worth a few bucks. Painful Truths. Foil Die Young. We got a Key to the City. And that's it. These are the old ones from last time. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that buyer box pack opening there. I think I got my money's worth. I got these pretty cheap, as I said. 
Um, I got these for about the standard price of a normal booster pack, so seemed like a good deal. Uh, yeah, I think we hit, I think we hit some good stuff there. Grim Flare alone pays for most of it, I think. I need to check the value on that. So don't quote me on that, but um, definitely a solid hit there. And a few other cards that you could probably pick up a few a few bucks for as well. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for plenty more magic, the gaming goodness. And me and Lady Hands will see you again very soon. Bye!